What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Bloodborne. Okay, all right, all right, all right. A uh, little, little cheesed, little cheesed, because my capture card corrupted the last episode of Bloodborne. So, and unfortunately, this game auto saves because I noticed it, but I couldn't do it in time to not, 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 not have it save. So I defeated a boss. Uh, his um, let's see if I can put something over the screen right now. Whatever. Um, I defeated a boss. His name was Memphis, host of the nightmare. It was a very epic battle. Um, he kept throwing cosmic go grenades at me. It hurt. I was appalled. He got very very close, but I took him out uh, with a flame spear. I put some flames on the on the saw spear, and uh, that was that. And I'm going to answer both two questions today. One from the episode that was missed, and one for today. The first one was, uh, if I could change my name, what would I change my name to? Um, I, I, I said uh, that if I had to change my name, I think I'd want to go with like Cyrus or, or even Caleb. I like those names. Those two names are awesome. I, uh, yeah, if I have a kid, I'm going to push for those. So if you could change your name, what would you change your name to? What is your current name now so we know? Where... Oh, right, okay, so this is where I fought this big cage dude, and I went through this giant library where the skeleton war was happening. Okay, this is our, this is the way we're going. Where a skeleton war was happening, um, with all these stupid skeletons rising up from the dead trying to hit me and stuff. Ooh, bloodstone chunk. That's good for the hunter axe. We can't upgrade the saw spear for another little while yet. All right, so I also discovered Oh my god, oh my god, I know where we are. I thought this was the optional area. But it's not. We have to unlock this. Um what was this? What was I saying? Uh oh yeah, I discovered that my capture card. I used the Apog HD PVR2 gaming edition if uh you're looking for your own recording device and stuff. Turns out, turns out, uh, they don't have a fan inside of it, so they've been overheating. Uh, and that's the reason for the corrupted videos, apparently. Uh, I have ordered a fan to put under it. Luckily, they make those kind of things. And hopefully, that will stop, uh, any future episodes from being, you know, destroyed. <laughs> and being, whatever. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was uh, yeah, yeah. whatever, it, it, it's done, it's done, it happened. That's okay. That's all right. Uh, what are we doing? Oh man, I got. I came to a scary, 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 a scary moment today. Um, uh, so I get a. In about 2012, 2013, I started getting a bunch of. I started getting some real bad test anxiety, like really bad. Um, I just get like shaky and cold, and my stomach starts yelling now. Um, which isn't cool, which isn't fun, I should state. Um, because I've left tests blank. Because, you know, I just don't want to annoy anybody else. Sorry, bud. Nope. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, I want that sword. That's the guy that, uh, the ultimate fighter had. Anyway. Oh my god! Fire, 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 fire. Where's that coming from? Wait, where is he? There he is! No little cheater. Okay, let's go take him down. He has a tonitris. Nice try. I hope these guys are permadeath, because I'd rather not uh, have to keep focusing on them. Um... Oh yeah, so, as some of you know, uh, I am taking corporate a, a class called Corporate Finance. I failed this class last year. Um, I just, it's, I just, the, I'm doing better with this teacher, but it just didn't click, and I was learning and stuff, and we had our first quiz today, and it was uh, <laughs> honestly the most terrifying thing I'd ever done. Um, I, I got, I'm pretty sure I had like a little mini panic attack before it happened uh, and I know I bombed it because as soon as I started the test I was like yeah I'm confident it was like 
I'm confident, but because uh, I knew how to do the first question, and that's more. It was more than I knew how to do the first time around. What are we doing here? Why does this look so familiar? Um, yeah. No, I bombed it. All right. Um, oh wow, we're seven minutes in, and I wanted to do another question before because uh, we might be seeing this again during Halloween. I'm not 100% sure, but you never know. Because it is a horror game, why not? Ah, oh, boy, my god. Um, the second question was, would you be willing to reduce your lifespan by 10 years to become rich or famous? Yes, I would. I would totally do that. I mean, you're gonna die anyway. Like, what's 10 years? Personally, personally, I can go now, I don't care. Um, uh, that's the, uh, that's kind of the attitude I've adopted over the last few years. Oh, good, it was sent. Oh, I can't pick it up. It just keeps dropping it. I can't pick it up. <gasps> Does it mean I lose it? You only have one with you? That's stupid. Fine. Fine. Make me waste it. This woman. We met her at Rom's place. And if I did those ritual chalices, which is why that nightmare at first, the fake nightmare world we went to first, with, uh, Erdu well, whatever, um, Adula, Agdulia, um, gave us a chalice. If we do the rituals, she becomes a boss. She'll try to kill us. And she lost a baby. Oh, I'm sorry. There's really no point. She's useless here. Alright, so yes, I would decrease my life by 10 years to become rich. Because honestly, I think, at least my personal, honest, honestly, my personal goal is to not have to worry. I want to just make enough money that I don't have to worry about bills. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, I just don't want to have to worry about money, because that's really scary. It's really scary um, when you have to. <gasps> you guys can see a boss fight after all. Okay. Uh, we got a lantern. We got fire paper. We got poison knives. Um, I don't know how well I'm going to do. I've never faced this thing. But this is my favorite. This was my favorite boss. All right, here we go. Let's hope this goes well. Would you guys reduce your life by 10 years to become rich or famous? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah, I like it. You guys have been answering the questions, not just on Bloodborne, but like in Xenoblade too. That's so awesome, you guys. I'm glad this is working out, and I'm going to keep it going because I think it's fun. It's fun. It lets me tell stories that I've never thought about before. Perspectives. Look how cool this guy is. Mm -mm. Nice try. Back off. Ow. Nope. Okay, I didn't uh, expect that much reach. Or that much reach. In retrospect, I probably... Oh, let's go behind him. I don't think you hit behind him. If I could hit him. This is the wet nurse from Murgo. This is where, where right now... Um... We are about to get the fourth umbilical cord. Oh wait, no, the third. We didn't get the third yet. Wait, where are you? There he is. Okay, I thought I could make it. Nope. Oh, he got me. He got me. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to bug you. Didn't mean to bug you. He's cool. I like this boss. Look how awesome he is. You guys didn't even get to see the cool stuff. He like transforms the world into like a shadow realm and the galaxy and he just like disappears and it gets really scary, but I think we could do it. I think we could do it. I just wasn't prepared to be honest. <laughs> I should be buying. I should have bought a bunch more. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I know where we are. I should have bought a bunch more fire paper before I went in. Because I only have one and I was preserving it. All right. Well, Thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, yeah, so once again, sorry that we missed this boss bite, but you know, it happens. So thank you guys again. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and hit that like button. I love you all, you awesome people. I'll see you next time.